Hi, my name is Jane Owen, and I'm an oboe player with the Fort Worth Symphony. And I'm going to show you today how all professional oboe players make their oboe reed. Bassoonists do this too, any double reed player. We start with our raw material, which is cane. It's, we buy most of it comes from southern France. It's called Arundo Donax, and it's also used for caning furniture. We start with this tube of cane, and we split it. So we split it, and we, still, we have then a piece of cane, which is not the right length. So we use our next tool, which is called a guillotine. And since most of our oboes and our cane comes from France, I guess that term's kind of significant. But anyway, here we go, and we guillotine that cane to the right length. So we have a nice piece of cane here. That's the right length to make an oboe reed. It's still pretty thick. So then we use, a, the fancy term for this is a pre-gouger. It's actually a planer. But we have a little grooves that we fit this into. And we plane this reed down, this piece of cane down, so it's more a workable. The next step we use is called the gouging machine. And what this do, does is it scoops out the thick part of the cane, scoops out the thick part of the cane to make it the right, just the right thinness for us to use for our oboe reeds. And we end up with a piece of cane then that is just the right thickness to make an oboe reed. The next step you do and I'm not going to do this in person because it takes a little time longer to soak the cane up, but we have a, a shaping tool, and we shape that cane so it goes from this nice straight piece, and you shape it like so, and you come out with the, reed, the cane that is the right shape to make that reed. The next thing you do is you're going to take that cane, We've got, we got the little cork part. It goes on a mandrel. And we take the shape piece of cane. And we use our thread. And you start to tie the reed onto the mandrel like so. But this is what we end up. That's what we call a blank oboe reed. Now, this one doesn't play yet because I still have to scrape it down. I have to scrape it till it gets to this point that I can crow it like this. OK? And that takes, that process takes about another, it can take any place from 15 minutes to an hour to three days to get an overread to work properly. So I'm not going to do all that for you right now. But now you see the process that we go through to create a reed like this. This reed would probably, after the work I've spent on it, would probably last me for maybe one rehearsal and one concert, maybe. Might go a little bit longer, but certainly not longer than a week. So all that work goes into one reed that gives me about maybe two or three services to play. All right, thank you. <laughs>